Uh, hello everyone welcome here in this video we will talk about modeling cantilever beam using beam element in this cantilever beam what you really have you have a beam fixed in one end and free in the other end and this end subjected to 10 kN load and this end subjected to fixed load the cross section of that beam is 100 by 50 the material property of this beam is 200 kN per millimeter square. Be careful, this is a unit. And also, you have 0 0.25 atmosphere ratio. Now, this beam will be, this tutorial will model it using a beam element. So, in, after you model, you must find out the deflection along the beam. So, along the whole beam, what is the deflection? And also, you have to do that for different four models with different mesh density for example for model B1, B2 uh, uh, sorry mesh with one element, two element, four element and eight element then you need to validate your numerical model by a theoretical calculation and finally you have to obtain a theoretical deflection and comment uh, after you find the, the results you need to comment on the results Let's open Abacus, but you go to the start and you write Abacus. Abacus CA will be used. You need to wait for a, for a while while this Abacus open. I will go Abacus open. You have a number of, this is start of the session, you have a number of options. Abacus has a capability to do a different option, so we will go for standards explicit model. Search around his screen, you will find a number of things. Discover what we have here. At the top you have the menu bar. You have here the module tree. You have here the module also. In this module you have part property a simply step interaction load mesh optimization job etc also you have what we call it as tool pa uh, toolbox area so this is toolbox area how are you gonna start firstly before you start your model you must create a, a file a folder you go to your computer you create a folder anywhere like this say and D don't save or create your model on desktop you double click right click new folder let's call it abacus abacus model or let's go with abacus okay I'll close it now you go to file and set work directory the work directory is in ctemp no we're gonna change it you select here you go into your D and you find out your abacus folder don't double click it's just click uh, selected and they said okay in this situation the whole results and the file will be generated and saved on the abacus and okay now we'll start with the part firstly the modules give you here actually the steps you have to do so you mostly you need to do part proper then properties there are simply after that sub tip interaction load mesh and then finally job let's start with the part we are modeling a beam element you go to create part let's call it beam and then we are doing a 2d bar is this not shell it is a wire element and you keep this as 200 and you continue when you search here you will find a number of tools for drawing let's pick up the create line connected when you click it 
Here you will be asking you what are the start point of the line, which is basically your starting point is your beam from here. So it is zero, zero. This is coordinate, and you get enter. And the other side of the beam is will be one thousand two hundred, and then zero, and then enter. Before we finish up, you go here because you cannot see the beam so you go here and you click an auto fit view you will see that beam now you still this command available so how to create out of this command you go here and you find what is cancel procedure and you say done to show that you finish your model you finish your sketch okay now we finish the sketching the model, the seizure part, and then you go to module and you go to property. If you go to here, which is material manager, and you go to here, you find a create material. You notice this is for create and this is manager. So if you click here, you will give you a manager of the material and you can start create the material. Let's call this material as steel material. We are gonna use elastic modulus, elasticity. So you go to mechanical, elasticity, elastic. You will find here young modulus and Poisson ratio. And the young modulus, what we did say that the material property of modulus is 200 kilonewton per millimeter square. In Abacus, we're gonna use a Newton and millimeter now. Therefore, the 200 will be converted from kilonewton to a newton. Therefore, the final answer will be 200,000 kilonewton newton per millimeter square and 0 0.25 as a Poisson ratio. And you press OK to confirm your elastic material. Interestingly, we'll find that this material property is created in the material property manager this is a good way actually to put a number of material list here and dismiss it to show that you finish and then you go to the second one section manager you click here and then you create that section manager let's call it as a beam section in a section manager, you are working not solid element, you are working the beam element. You have two options, beam or truss. Of course, you are working the beam, so you get the beam, and then you continue. What you will notice here, you notice here an options which is profile name. So you need to create a profile for this section. So it's beam. If you look here in the create beam profile, you have a number of options here. Let's take the rectangular because you have a rectangular section. And you continue. A and B, B is the height and A is the width. What you have, it is 50 by 100 as a height and width. So A is 50 and the B is 100. And you press OK. You notice the material property name is a T that you created already. And I think now we finish. You create a profile, you create a material property, so it is done. You dismiss it. You that this section is created. Now, next step you go to assign. You create a material, you assign section manager, and finally you assign an, you, 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 you section assignment. You assign that section into that beam. You click here, and again you need to create will ask you select the region of to be assigned a section. I advise you all the time when you click anything in Abacus, read around. So we'll ask you select a region, and you select the beam, which is that you want to assign, and you say done. So you need to accept the default, which is show the beam is type, the type is beam, the material is steel that you created, and the section is beam section, and you said OK. And notice that the beam changed the color. And you need to dismiss. 
Okay, now, this is a beam element. Since it's a beam element, you, just only in beam element, you must have beam orientation. So if you need to find, you need to find the orientation of the beam. So you go to tool, and then you have, oh sorry, you have to, I think it's assign, sorry, you have to go to assign, beam section orientation, you click on assign beam section orientation. We'll ask you what, which who assigned the beam you want to create a connotation, you click on the beam, and then you're done. Well, the tangent vector is in the longitudinal direction of the beam, that's accepted, you click enter. And you have this axis, which is T and 1 and 2, perpendicular 1 and 2 to the screen, and 2 is perpendicular to the beam, which is accepted now. And you said enter. Once you finish, you it will ask you, do you need any other beams? No, just only beam, and you cast a procedure that you finish. Before we carry on, let's save it. And it will be ask you to save. Would it be save it in the folder you did? Let's call it beam element model. Okay, and then okay. Note it's gonna be saved in CAE model. And then okay. Now you go to assembly, you create when you go to assembly, you notice that ah, the beam is disappeared. No, it's not disappeared. You create a section, uh, sorry, you create a sketch. You assign the material to it, and then you need to bring it to assemble. You click on the create instance, and you click independent. Click on independent means that you need to mesh your model on the assembly, or in, in the instance. That's my advice to you to do now in, independent and then you said okay that you bring the beam and to put this front colors meaning that it is an instance. After assembly we finish we go to step. A step is meaning is a way to apply the load which is a step load. Which is not a load applied is a step to apply the load. To create a step, you need to go to, for more information by the way, if you want for example information here, you go to this here arrow to get a help. You click here, we tell, okay, I need to help on this, okay, you click, tick, it will bring you into here, about how to create steps, and uh, this is uh, a Bacos manual. Understand the step, further information if you want, etc. etc. That's a very good idea if you want. This is give you how to do things. So you could have this and you click any place if you want, for example, any place you show you how to do things. So this is the help. That's good. Sorry. Now, you go to step, you create step manager. Now we create a step. Let's call it step one. We keep it as a name, it's not important. Or, no, let's call it, if you want, let's call it for example as a loading step. I will use static general and then continue. You have a number of things here. Actually, I don't want to confuse you with this thing, but you have NLGO. This is called nonlinear geometry. That is, if you want to have geometrical nonlinear analysis. Also, but we are not the one now geometric analysis, we keep it off. Incrementation. 
since we are doing elastic analysis therefore the the load is not necessarily to be applied incrementally usually incremental analysis incrementation used when you have no linear analysis so it is important to increment the load slowly slowly until the load until the structure attain the maximum load but for a moment because we are working on elastic analysis we know geometrical analysis geometrical linearity there is no material linearity so we keep the step the incrementation as it is so we need only one increment that's enough and then we can okay for everything and dismiss it now after the step we don't have any kind of interaction at all but we have loading we go to load in the load here you have good things this in this load you have can apply a load and you can apply a boundary condition how to find firstly a, a load if you go to load manager you click here bring it here and you go to create let's call this is load or load point load let's call it point load and I want to concentrate it load and we continue it will ask you where do you want to put the load select the point for the load yes I will select the point here you tick and you done it now please be careful CF1 and CF2 represent the uh, components of the load and the component of the load CF1 in the X direction and CF2 in the Y direction how to know that you not from here you must familiarize yourself with this in the X direction CF1 so we have a load 10 kN goes down so only in the Y direction which is minus 10 thousand to convert from kilonewton to newton once you finish you said okay and you will notice this load here and you dismiss to finish the step and then you need to go to the boundary condition manager you click and then you need to create a boundary let's call it fix support it's a name and the fixed support I will use the second option to tell the second option for rotation and displacement and then continue it will ask you what where you want to put the boundary condition you tell him okay I will get a tick here and said okay done because we are working in a fixed boundary condition therefore therefore it is important to to know what this here you have u1 u2 ur3 u1 is the displacement in, the, in x u2 in the vertical direction and ur3 is a rotation since it's a fix so we tick all as zeros we click all as zeros so meaning that is zero displacements and then okay and then you dismiss now we apply load and we put the boundary condition we go to mesh in the mesh <coughs> <coughs> sorry in the mesh you have the first thing is you want one element mesh you click here to see an edge so you can find how many elements you want and then you click there and you click on the beam change the color and then done if you go here you have something which is called by number you click on the by number so you can actually create as many elements as you want but for a moment we want only one element to be created and then they said okay and you said done that's you finish because you are only one element and done not finished yet now after you see it 
you must create you must mesh now what you did is just use seed node you seed edges you didn't create an element yet to create element you need to click on the mesh part instance and then you say okay to mesh the part yes say yes tick you you've done also we didn't finish after we mesh we need to decide what is uh, element used so after we see it and we mesh we need to go into assign element type so we need to know what are the type of element because we said it's a beam element so we click here will ask you which element what uh, select the region you want to be assigned the element type you click on the region and then done here we go you will find a number of options here actually it seems to say the standards as I told you there's here B21 the type of element that I told you about which is a two noded linear beam element so it is a beam element and B21 if you click quadratic you will have B22 which is three noded quadratic a beam element but I don't want this I want a linear B21 uh, that I told you about and then you said okay and then you say done and you save now you mesh after that you go down you finish and you create your job in order to finish a model to create to get a result you create after here you have a job now you get a job now you need to submit that job you need to create a job manager you go to job manager you click and now you need to create a job let's call this job is one element and then you continue for this and you accept everything as it is and you can't submit to submit a job you notice the status is submitted it's like I'll submit an application and after that you will notice running means that it's okay keep looking down here in the, the screen down in the, and you will notice something now if there's any error yeah analysis input process is completely successful meaning that the input the model is kindly is correct that's a good indication that you are doing things correctly and uh, you find the model is done and completed and just shows also in the command area and you can now re get a result let's stretch search around these results this is your beam if you go here you will notice a number of options here for example this is a plot contour and deformed shape so when you click there you will give you a deformed shape you give you the deformed is able the result now the result are presented here there's good things here but maybe we don't need to go through all of this if you want to know more about it you need to facilitate yourself by going to Abacus Manual but initially we can say CF sorry the CF and CM3 are for uh, shell element but we don't have shell uh, E elastic uh, strain PE plastic strain but we don't have plastic strain RF are the reactions S stresses U deformation displacement or deformation and UR3 are display rotations now because we are need, we need U you need displacement vertical direction we're gonna click on U you have three options here magnitude U1 and U2 magnitude is the final and U1 is a displacement in horizontal direction and U2 is displacement in a vertical direction that's what we are looking for U2 now in order to find this displacement all over the beam I will create a path to create a path follow my steps go to tool 
path manager you click in the manager and then we need to plug create a path and then you create a node list we keep a node list and you continue and then you click on the after add after then you need to start working from left to right node by node now it could have a problem that we don't see the nodes we can number the nodes by here a simple problem I know there is a node here and node there but in sometimes it is hard to know if we have multiple nodes inside between the nodes here it's gonna be difficult so how to find the nodes you click here on sorry what is it called it's called super super post option and then you go to level and now show node level which is in color and then you said OK. Unfortunately, having been done, and I think level show not level. Yeah, I tell you why because we are working in a path option. So if you cancel it, cancel it. Let's do this again. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know why it is not coming off um, that's that's very bad Where is it oh here we go yeah it is here common option labels show node level and okay so again you go to common option levels show node levels and okay and then you go to tools path manager create node list continue add after now we can actually pick up the nodes from left to right from this one one to two and then you say done and you said okay that's your path from one to two now you could dismiss it you go you don't need it now you go to tools now you need to find a displacement you go to tools xy data manager now create path continue now be careful your path is path one that's what you created secondly we are working on the form on deformed deflection because we need to find the deflection on undeformed beam so usually you get the undeformed shape and you get x distance not the true distance the true distance means that after deflection the x value so we keep here as x distance make sure you have the output is u2 okay otherwise you change it from here because we are working on u and then save us and okay by double click you will find as a distance x0 the value is very small it's considered zero at distance 1200 the other node is minus 6.5 millimeter you go to the table and you fill up the table for element number one go this way somewhere So you click here and you put this node value here and use value here. So it is simple to write zero here and minus 6.49 millimeter. Now for element, this for element. Now now we finish for one node element, one element. Now let's do for two elements. Let's cancel everything, cancel everything and we back into mesh. we've got only one element now we need to do two elements starting from mesh you go again to the seed edge you click on the element you say done and you create two elements I said okay it will ask you do you want to delete the previous mesh well it's okay because 
because it was there was a mesh now you need to change the mesh so I said okay delete meshes from previous step and then done now you mesh your part I said okay and you could go and check that uh, element assigned and you click on the element and done you will notice it's the same element and said okay and done now you go back job you create a new job which is two element and then continue and okay and you submit get your result you will show that you have three nodes again you need to create path you can find out the displacement this way and now you go to displacement deflect it this is for me so we need displacement you and you two now let's create path go to tools path manager we'll create a new path and you continue and up after click here click here click here and you said done and said ok that's you have a new path now let's get the deflection tools xy data manager now create and you need to tick path and continue now it shows you path 1, now I need path 2 because this and undeform make sure this is correct you, your 2 and x distance and save as as data 2, xy data 2, ok now you double click on xy data 2 you get this result at 0 and 600, 1200 these are the deflection you take these values and you put it in the table here That's now straightforward and you close everything and you back to mesh in order to do four elements mesh. You go to mesh again, seed edge, you click on the edge, all the elements, you done on four nodes. I said okay, you delete previous mesh and you said done. You click on the part instance and you said OK. And then you come back to the job. You create a job. So you three elements. And then OK, continue. And then you said OK. And you submit your job. Now get the result. Now again, this is the deflected part, and you go to you, and then you two in order to find the deflection. Go again tools, path manager. You create a new path, node list. Continue. Add after. Click on these nodes all together, and then done said ok now you go to xy data manager create path continue choose the third path and you save as and double click you get your results also you add this result into the table for four nodes and now finally for eight nodes 
again the same thing close all you go to the mesh you take this seeds click on the beam not eight elements and okay Del is it eight elements delete and done yes eight elements and then you need to mesh and then you say okay go back create oh, I, ma I made a mistake this is should be for ele eight element not four element not three elements this is eight elements then okay done and submit It's completed, get the result. This is the deflected shape, it's more smoother, smooth or smoother, and then go to you, you two, tools, path, manager, create a new path, then add after. You click here, here, this node, node 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 here yeah. and then done and then ok you go to xy data manager create path continue you choose the last path you did for and you save as and you double click you will end up with the whole result you want you take the whole result here and you put in a table after you finish you need to plot on using excel sheets the vertical deflections for different meshes using theoretical also uh, compare with the theoretical one and for the theoretical one you have here the theoretical one how to do it as easy and straightforward using double integration method after that after you put the theory and the practice these are the solved one after that you need to compare and discuss for example you will notice that as a no as the display uh, as a, the number of element increase the deflection will be converge into the theoretical one so let's close everything that's done for today if you want to save it you could save it you keep it and you close everything now we've done for beam element so please try to do this again I took me I took some took now sometimes to do this with some explanation but now in the following videos it's gonna be faster and we will do the model directly uh, with some explanation now this more explanation in order to let you use to the software so keep going and do your own revision thank you very much